Kinetic Model Builder's model window provides a graphical interface for building kinetic models using one of two mutually exclusive model representations. The first is as a collection of states and allowed transitions between states, and the second is a collection of binary elements and interactions between elements. With the model window active, from the model menu we have options for opening or saving the model to file, and an edit submenu for adding model objects or removing them. To start with, let's build a simple two-state model with transitions between the states. So we'll first add a state. Um, we can put it anywhere we'd like in the 3D viewpoint. Left-clicking will place it and pop up a dialog with all of the state parameters. We can give it a name. Let's call it closed, um, as we'll build a simple model with a closed and open state and transitions between them. The P0 is the initial probability for the model to begin in the closed state. We'll give it one unit probability. And the min, max, and fixed parameters are for optimizing the variable P0 during model optimization. Um, conductance and user are for computing uh, various model signals. For further details about these, uh, please see the user's guide. OK, so we have our closed state. Now let's add an open state. We can either go back through the edit submenu or by pressing the space bar, it's a shortcut to popping up the edit menu. We'll add another state, and we'll call this open. And we'll start in the open state with zero initial probability. Now we need some transitions between these states. Bring up our edit menu, we'll add a transition. Transition is from close to open. The next four parameters define how the transition rate constant is computed. And the rate constant uh, is computed according to Eyring's transition state theory, assuming a single transition state barrier. Um, K0 is the stimulus independent rate constant. And the enthalpic and charge components allow us to define transition rates which depend on either temperature or voltage, or both. Um, for further details on these parameters, please, please see the user's guide. OK, we have a rate to go from close to open. Let's also add a rate to go back from open to close. So we'll add another transition from open to closed. And there it is. We won't worry about defining any of the parameters. Um, by clicking with the left mouse button anywhere in the background of the model window and dragging, we can rotate our 3D viewpoint. Similarly, with the right mouse button, we can translate the viewpoint. And the mouse wheel allows us to zoom in and out. Note that uh, not all of this functionality uh, is available for trackpad users, um, so you may want to use a three-button mouse. Left-clicking on any of the model objects selects them, and double-clicking will pop up a dialog with the object parameters. Finally, left-clicking uh, on an object and then dragging allows us to move it anywhere we'd like in the, in the 3D viewpoint. We can reset our view um, back to the original view um, through the edit submenu. And the model info command, uh, menu command, will bring up a series of tables with all of the, of the model parameters we might wish to edit. In this case, we have our model name. We can just call it my model. Various other parameters, uh, a whole bunch of other things we haven't described or will be described in other videos. Um, for now, we can look at our states, which gives us a table of all of our states and all of their parameters, as well as our transitions, um, similarly. If we'd like to remove a model object, we can simply select it, bring up our edit menu, and ask to remove uh, the selected object of whatever type it is. Or we can simply select it and press the delete key. Um, it'll ask us if we actually want to delete it. We'll say yes, and now it is gone from the model. Note that deleting states um, will delete all associated connections as well. And to clear an entire model all at once, simply choose Model Clear. OK, so now let's build a similar model using binary elements. Uh, we'll add a binary element, and let's call this a gate. OK, so, so binary elements. Uh, are objects which can exist in one of two configurations, and they have transition rates between their configurations. So this gate is actually a very similar model to the one we just created with states and transitions, where we might say that gate.0 is closed and gate.1 is open, with various transitions um, from closed to open and vice versa. Um, to edit the transition rates, 
or the starting probabilities for this element in whichever configuration we'd like, we simply double click on one of its configurations. And here we see all of the parameters, the name of the object. Um, 0.p0 is the initial probability for the element to be in its zero configuration. In this case, we're referring to that as the closed configuration. And all of the transition parameters are exactly as, as were described for uh, transitions uh, just previously, except that they're prefixed either with 0, 1 for transitions from the 0 to 1 configuration, or 1, 0 from transitions from the 1 to 0 configuration. Okay, so let's add one more binary element. Uh, in this case, let's call this one a binding site. All right, so a binding site uh, would bind some sort of ligand which might influence how our gate behaves. So first of all, we'd want the transition from 0, which we'll call unoccupied, to 1, which we'll call the occupied binding site, to depend on the concentration of whatever it is that it's binding. Uh, to do that, we'd specify that the 0 to 1 transition, the x parameter, be the name of some stimulus which would refer to the thing that is binding. In this case, we'll just call it ligand. So ligand is something that we'd need to specify in a stimulus protocol, which will be covered in another video tutorial. For binding to influence the operation of this gate, we need an interaction between the two elements. To make an interaction between them, we'd simply bring up our edit menu, add interaction, and then click on the two elements, which pops up a dialog for our new interla interaction with a bunch of parameters which are defined in detail in the user's guide. For now, we'll just give it a single enthalpic component, in equilibrium component. Again, see the user's guide for a detailed definition of these parameters. And there we have it. Once more, um, by choosing model info, we can see all of the model parameters in tabular form. We can get the same dialog by simply clicking on the info button in the upper left hand corner. So here we see our my model with all of the possible parameters. We no longer see states and transitions because there are none in the model. Instead, we have elements. Here we have our gate and our binding site element and interactions, our single interaction between the binding site and gate. OK, that concludes uh, building kinetic models using Kinetic Model Builder. Um, for any details not covered in this simple tutorial, please see the user's guide.